Bulahang Adlaw kanatong tanan ng Pit Senior. This episode of the Gospel reading today opens the second chapter of the Gospel of St. Mark. And this is still connected with the essence of Jesus' ministry and Jesus' mission to establish the kingdom of God. The very first miracle that Jesus performed in the Gospel of Mark was to exorcise, to expel the demon, representing the, the kingdom of the evil one. Because as it is always said, the kingdom of God cannot be established with the kingdom of evil around. So it has to be, the, uh, the kingdom of the evil one has to be defeated. Now all other illnesses and diseases are practically connected also to this. And paralytic, being a paralytic is also a significant sickness because it disables a person to move. No? And not just to move, but it's not only physically uh, actually debilitating, but it's also psychological. There is what, what you call psychological paral paralysis. No? Nga ka nang usahay, isang daku kay nang dalan sa, sa ato ang agianan, gamay, haig, agip, otra gib kaayo kay mahadlok ta, no? magpadaplin ta, morag mo, mo mo padaplin tag maayo bisag daku kay nang wanang no tungod sa atong kahadlok because of our fear and practically only only we know but there is somebody who knows what we feel what we harbor inside our hearts that is why i would not go into the details of the miracle but there are two miracles that actually happen in the gospel reading today Kay ang pag-ayo sa paralytic, daghanang nagsulat anak, daghanang nag-reflect anak. But I would like to focus on something that is also a miracle. And it is a very special and important dimension in the gospel reading today. And what is that? Jesus knowing the thinking of the scribes. Kinsa mong goy tao nga magkabasa o sa imong yunahuna, di ba? So sometimes we forget this because ang atong focus man was the curing of the a paralytic. But Jesus here is presented as one, as we say in our prayers and in the Psalms, O oh God, you who read our hearts and minds. And this is a very beautiful and significant point to reflect. Because it is in this, for example, our Thanksgiving intentions for today's Mass. Ang ginoo na sayod, bisag unsay na asa ato ang kinahiladman sa atong kasing-kasing. And He wants us to really accept and own whatever we think, whatever we feel, and offer it to Him. And this is a very beautiful experience right in this very moment when there are so many things happening and sometimes uh, presenting threats or endangering us. But we know that there is a God who does not only know what we feel inside, but who knows what we need and who knows what we are actually up to. And so we have to be very faithful in this exercise. And so with our prayers, let us also expressly accept and own whatever we have and offer it to Him because He is the only one who knows how to answer what we need, what we want, and our earnest prayers. Amen.